Well, it may not be your first choice to rush down on a wet and windy day and hit balls on the range, but it is a good idea to work out the shots that you can use, how to play them, and then take them on the golf course, because there's going to be plenty of days when you play in these conditions, you need to know which shots you can trust. For instance, here I've got a, a lie that's a little bit damp and squelchy around the ball. Normally I would be hitting a four iron, say, from that shot, and I'd look down at that, and you can see the, the knife-like effect of a longer iron. And the problem is, to hit that ball well, I've got to hit down and compress it. And it's hard to do when the, the ground's soft. Let's contrast that with my uh, hybrid club. You see here, 23 degree hybrid club, as that comes into the ball, I can get more of a sweeping action. So let's imagine a scene where I'm hitting to a flag that's uh, tucked behind a, a bunker. I need to get the ball in high to make it land softly. I think I'd have more chance going with the hybrid than with the long iron. In the technique itself, it's just a normal shot. I'm trying to sweep through the shot. Not much divot going on here. I just need a high flying shot. Well, I've got to practice these shots to understand the trajectory that I can get and the sweeping effect from a hybrid against the driven effect of a long iron. Now, you should do the same, then we understand what's going to happen with our golf ball. So we go on the golf course and we've got some control.